I'm going to create a uh, sci-fi tool chest for my sci-fi scene. You know, the one where I've got the water cooler and the generator and the chairs and the oscilloscope and all that kind of stuff. I'm basically concentrating on the modeling, not the materials or textures. I just want to do the modeling stuff. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, so here we go. All right, I'm going to bring in a cube and uh, look from the side and just pull it up so it looks like it's roughly on the ground and uh, i'm going to edit mode already we're hitting some wrong keys so let's uh, there we go from the side let's scale this in the y all right let's see let's get the approximate size of this thing that i want something like that i'm going to select the top and the bottom I'm going to hit Control B to bevel. I'm going to pull. We're going to give a little space. Bevel like that. Control R to put one edge loop right in the middle and look from the side. And let's get rid of this half. Let's go into wireframe. One for vertex. B for box select. Draw a rectangle. And let's get rid of these vertices. So we can add a mirror in the Y and turn on clipping back in the solid view. So. Whatever we do on this side will show up on that side as well. And what we're going to do now is we're going to add an edge loop there. Slide it over a little bit to the side. You'll notice it's not straight, so let's scale it in the Y. S, Y, 0. Now it's straight. And Control B and pull. You give yourself a region like that to make these sort of bands or you know, straps that would go around the crate. Okay, so we got that. Let's now go E and Alt S and pull down and then push the thing out going to start to look a little bit more like a crate so we'll do that scale this in the X and uh, we'll get more shaping done in a bit okay let's make the division between the top and the bottom control R pull it up like this this will be the top part and this will be the bottom part okay now uh let's look from the front i don't think this is straight so let's scale this in the z so it's all level sz zero there we go control b pull give yourself a bit of room like that and then e and alt s and we'll just watch as you push this in that nothing crosses over looks okay so far so, uh, shift alt and click those edges and control b we'll give it a bevel like that and we start to get this shape okay so far so good uh, let's make it look a little nicer by adding a bevel just like that and we'll come up here and we'll shift alt and we'll click those two edges and control b and we'll do this and it look even a little bit nicer so far so good okay um I'm going to scale this globally in the X and then in wireframe I'm going to grab the top and I'm going to pull it down and I want I'm just starting to get the shape that I want and um, look from the side overall the whole thing I basically I'm going to select that and bring it in so changing it pretty substantially but I'm starting to get into the shape that I would want um, we'll do something about these corners near the end. Let's uh, go control R, put an edge loop right down there. Look from the front. Let's make sure it's straight in the X, S, X, zero. Okay, control B, drag out a space and put a handle in here and some other stuff. So we're going to have that, but before we do anything else, I'm going to go control R, put an edge loop right about there and there. And I think I'll pull this one down and we'll do something with this space. That might be a bit too wide, so I'm going to shift alt to click there in SX and pull them a bit closer. And then I'm going to look in, I'm going to try this in wireframe and three for face selection. And just box select all of that. I should get just that. And in, uh, I don't need that one. Sorry. E, and I'm going to pull them back in. Uh, we're going to use that area there. And I'm going to do a similar thing on the front here. I'm going to go Control R. Uh, it's the front, but it's really the side view. I'm going to make sure that's straight. So S Y zero. I think it was Control B. Pull. 
I'll do something in here like a buckle. So I'm gonna bring in another edge loop up here, roughly equal. And then I'm gonna look in wireframe and face selection. I'm gonna border select or box select all of that. No, not like that way. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's see how you do this. But I don't want the back, so I'm just gonna hold shift to get rid of that. And I'll take, uh, let's see if that's just worked work the way I want it to. And then I'm going to, I just wanna go back to face selection. I'm gonna hit I to inset. Pull it in a little bit and E to extrude and pull it back like that. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, I'm going to do something in there in a bit. And in there. Now, let's try. Looking from the front in wireframe, let's try if I border select it all. And then I uh, shift click there to deselect. Let's see how I've done that. What about that? Let's try scaling in the Z. try something here. I'm going to add an edge loop here and bevel it out. Let's try uh, selecting those edges and scaling in the X. Okay, we don't like that. Scaling the Z. Now that'll bend those edges. But it'll give me that shape. And that shouldn't cause me any, any real problem. Just a question of uh, adjusting things to your liking and deciding what it is you want to do. Maybe just a handle in here. You just select both of those and hit I. Put the handle in there and we'll scale on the Z. Do this kind of handle. Let's see what I'm getting at in a bit. I really want to do that again. What I just did, but uh, before I do, I'm thinking of a little section in here as well. I'll show you what I'm talking about for this one first. Select that, Shift D, I'm gonna bring it out, and P to break it out. And I'm gonna select that, and set the origin of geometry on that, and then scale it in the X, and then extrude it. To, well, I got a mirror on this, so I'm, I'm gonna take off the mirror. Okay, let's get rid of that, uh, sorry. Let's get rid of that, and select this, extrude it back. I'm going to delete that back face. And um, let's put another edge loop here. Pull it back in. 
that skill in his head. And then add an array in the X. And I think before we go any further, I would have to uh, take this face and um, uh, control B to bevel it like this. So that we catch some light. What I could also do is um, I can try this anyhow. I can do something like that. See if that. Nah, I don't like that any better. <laughs> Do a little something like that. Okay, and then uh, we'll apply that array. And I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna join that so I get it on both sides. And let's see if I can still select that, scale X zero, and we'll uh, control B. See if I can do anything with these corners here. Let's see how I want my want them. Like that. Just to make it look a little bit more sci-fi. Now I do want to put a handle in there, but I also want to see if I can bevel this edge here. Control B and how bad it will affect my bevel. Okay. It's a little bit more sci fi like, in my opinion. Or if you like that or not, let's go out of that and try that and not, not do that for a moment. Yeah. Let's go back and let's also grab uh, this one. I might be able to get away with, I might not. All the way around. Control B for the both of them. Just a little bit of a transition. I think I can get away with that. All right, let's go with it. And then let's take this piece, Shift D to duplicate it, pull it out, and P to break it out set the origin of geometry and while I'm thinking of it let's come over here and switch over to cycles and GPU compute for my video card yes that's a better idea pull that in oh, I see I've got the mirror on I'm gonna copy get the mirror off there that's better okay pull that in let's scale this in the X out scale it in the Z okay E to extrude and come on out and then scale in the Z, and then bring out an edge loop. And I'll get this. Okay, it's a little bit big. So come on in. Uh, grab that. Control L. I think it's uh, is it broken out? I thought it was on its own, but maybe it wasn't. Um, yeah. Okay. Basically, the idea is that would go back in there, but not quite that big, I guess. Okay, let's scale this in the X again, and in the Y. Start. Now, I need to push this back further into the tool chest. How could that possibly work? Or could I take this...
it's going to be right there. And I'll put an edge loop there and control B and spread it out. And then E and Alt S and pull to give it something like that. And control plus scale in the X. I realize I didn't quite like it. It's got to be a little bit wider for your hand. And then I'll shift Alt and click that edge and that edge and control B. And we can bevel like that. And, you know, that's our handle, I guess. We put a couple of bolts in here. And we should do that. We should also do something with this edge here. Shift Alt and click that whole edge there. And we'll see if I can bevel on this one. Control B. Let's see how it affects our overall bevel. It just catches a bit more light. It looks dead otherwise. So yeah, we'll put. Um, doesn't look like there's like much of a, like a plate in there. So but we'll put a bolt anyhow. You know, from a distance. And now I think we'll switch over the cavity shader, and it'll start looking a little bit better. It'll look a little funny. Um, you know, this because it's. Still relatively low poly, so that's the way it's gonna be. So let's, um, you know, you can do whatever you want. Let's come over um, to uh, here. Let's take uh, this piece, Shift D, pull it out to break it out take it and let's get rid of the mirror right away I'm gonna scale this in the Y a little and, uh, and grab this edge and pull it up let's bring this in loop right there and then I'm going to take this front face and inset like this and then I'm going to extrude it in like that and then I'm going to do some more and then I'm going to select let's see See if we can get all of this stuff here around. I'll do a control B. Oh, did I miss that edge? I missed that edge. And that'll change my bevel for sure. That's okay. You can do whatever kind of design you want to do on this part. Whatever you think looks good. No, I haven't done the... Uh, I wonder if I should be doing that. Let's see, if I put an edge loop here and I, and I control B it... Oops, not that far. Yeah. Oh. Let me grab the edges. Let's hide that. Oh, I got it again. 
Do we maybe want that? I say why not? I say why not? In which case, I could take these edges. All right, let's concentrate on this. Let's turn that off. Um, shift Alt and click these outer edges. Not that one. Hmm. Okay, that one's gonna go down to there. Uh, that's fine. Maybe we'll get all of these edges here. Not that one with the inner one here, and this one here. Let's just try that, control B. I'll get some funny stuff down there, won't I? All right, that's fine. I'm gonna go with that and then clean this up. All right, let's take this guy. What happened to order? Where'd he go? Shift H, just you. All right, let's, let's just uh, get rid of some stuff and rebuild you. Ridiculous stuff here. All of this crap. Let's just take these and pull them up. In fact, we use snapping, so snapping, snap T to edge, maybe. Snap to this edge. Are you gonna snap or not? Okay. And then let's just bridge edge loops. Now, what happened there? What do I got? Grief. Yeah, because I don't have all of the right uh, number. Yeah, I may not be able to do that properly. Let's try that. Interesting to know. Take this piece, bring it in, and then I'll just extrude it a little bit and scale. Then we we and we end up with that. All right, so just messing around with it. And that's okay from uh, that position. Okay, um, I'm gonna just take that and join it, and then we'll have those uh, embedded onto there. So, yeah, there we go. Join that as well. So I have that handle. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to take those two pieces and I'm going to press I to inset. And I've got, if you look up near the top, you can see it says boundary off. Boundary off 
but if I press B, want to have a mirror, it won't inset. You see the way it's inset over here on this part? It won't from the middle come to the mirror, which is what I want. And I see I have snapping on still. Hang on to that. I want to insert that a little bit like this. And that might be too much. And I'm going to grab this edge and pull it out. And basically I want uh, this little screen-like section. It doesn't have to go in that quite that far at all. So I'll pull that out just like that okay a little shape like that and we can also take this edge just select that part right there those two and we pull them a little bit like that so it's like a little bit more space in there and yeah we can go with that for the moment and then maybe even a little bit more I press i again Maybe we'll come in one more time, just a little bit. Mm. Let's grab that. And then let's scale that in Z. Put it down. And we'll scale it in the Y. And see if we like it a little bit better. Yeah, like there's a little screen there. And then we'll put some buttons or something on it. I'm gonna put another edge loop here and bring it in. Scale Y zero. And then I'm gonna select uh, this face and this face. And I'm gonna hit as I to inset. And I'm gonna extrude in. We'll scale this in the Y and in the Z. And I think I want that wider. And so I'm going to look from the front or from the side, really. And I'm going to try to grab just this stuff, pull it out, and see if I've done what I want it to do. I think I have. I'm going to take, uh, well, I'll build a new one. Take this piece, shift D, and bring it out, and P to break it out. Set the origin of geometry on that. Get rid of the mirror. Scale this in the Z. And extrude it back. Scale it in the Y, and it's going to be similar. Um, let's just uh, control B like this that'll help let's take the whole thing and let's rotate in the Y a little bit like this but scale it in the Z let's push it back in and I'm going to want to do this kind of thing I'll show this uh, scale the whole thing in the Z I want it thinner like that there we go Out. and yep now we're going to take that piece and array this in the Z coming down Just like that, I'm going to hit apply, I'm going to take this and I'm going to control J, just put it on the other side as well. Okay, and that's what we got so far, no, yeah, that's fine there. Maybe we'll put, uh, I mean you could put a decal on here if you wanted. Take this piece here, shift D, scale it like this. Let's let's break it out. Let's hide that. Take this and just move it out. 
Let's get rid of the mirror. Skeleton of Army, a couple of buttons. It takes a while. I mean, it's simple, but it, it just takes a while, doesn't it? Yeah, I was thinking of like uh, that's what I was thinking of. So we could have that. And uh, on top, we could do some. Let's start getting the feel for this now by switching over to this uh, color here. And um, I'm going to uh, make sure I'm in object mode and hit A and then tab into edit mode, select everything. Alt N, recalculate outside. And a couple of my polys have been flipped. And so I'll get this. All right. so. You know, it's not thrilling, but it's something. And uh, we could wrap it up soon. We could do some one or two more things I want to do. One of them is the following. Bring in a plane and bring it up and scale it down. Rotate Z, I don't know, 40, like this, Shift D, Rotate Z, 90, Let's go like that, enough like that. down in to there now as I think about this maybe I will grab these edges on all of them on both of them and control B to do this just a little bit yeah okay and I might as well do what I'm thinking of doing for real so let's that will happen on the other side let me try shift D and these ones I'm going to rotate X 90 Did that go the right way if they're not inserted the same distance exactly now eh, here's what I was thinking of um,
that's kind of what I'm thinking of. All right. halfway let's go with halfway all right let's join these I'm going to give it a try I'm going to select this I'm going to do a boolean I'm going to move it to the top though and I'm going to leave it on difference and I'm going to choose those apply it take that and just H to hide Now, there is a chance I can make these look better. I'm going to select those faces. Let's do this first. And make sure I'm on individual origins, and I'm just going to hit S. Let's try that. And that might be all I do. All right, for that. Okay, so I've done Boolean there. Alt H, let's bring those back and let's get rid of them. Let's save our work. 